in full high school teenage fashion, my face broke out a little bit right before this video, so thanks, skin. Really on the, you're on brand today, so I appreciate that. Hello and welcome back to My Tech Wardrobe. My name is Caitlin and this is uh, another... God, I gotta find a better way to start these. Also, if you find this monitor distracting, rest assured it can't be any more distracting than having a window right there and having a TV right there, so... This is what we're doing. Also, this is my home office in the middle of my home. I don't have a room, I just have a space in my living room, so here we are. I have seen a lot of videos of people reacting to their high school style or just pictures of them from high school in general. And I thought that would be a really fun video to do because I have a few interesting photos from high school. I know a lot of people had an emo phase or a punk phase or some kind of MySpace you know, selfie from the top type of phase. I never had any of that. I was just kind of basic, but basic in a way... <sighs> I always wanted something very quirky to happen with my outfit, but I, it never quite landed, or at least from this moment in the future, looking back, I'm realizing now it never quite landed. I figured though, I'm not only going to just react to photos of myself from high school, I'm going to give myself a little retroactive glow up. Give the outfits themselves and by proxy me a glow up, I guess. Does this, I, I think this concept makes sense. I think it makes sense. We're just gonna try. We're just gonna try. First is this picture technically not from high school, but from grade eight graduation, which I figured was high school adjacent. <laughs> um, oh yeah, there's a lot going on here. Okay, first I wanna say the clogs were not mine. They, I think this was in the Museum of Civilization in Ottawa. I know it's not called that anymore, but we went on a grade eight graduation trip there. And I think that's what was going on. I was in the Dutch section? The reason I picked this first is not only because it came first chronologically, but also because it sort of is an exemplar for what my style really used to be when I was younger. So essentially it's no makeup whatsoever, not because I wasn't allowed, just because I just straight up didn't know how to use it and I was too um, intimidated, so I just didn't. And the second thing is that it's just sort of denim bottom with some kind of athletic top and like novelty jewelry. It's not great. It's not great. There's a lot, there's there's a brown tank top, there's a red and white element to the shirt and yeah, denim shorts. I, I think I was really going for function on this trip because when I was much younger, um, I... <sighs> How do I say I had sweaty armpits all the time without saying that? <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna say that. I had, I had some perspiration issues, okay? Everybody in high school does, I think. Except for those, you know, miracle girls who like, their sweat smelled like flowers, I don't know. It, it just wasn't a good situation. So I wore a lot of athletic tops and black and white to sort of mask that issue, okay? Okay. Anyway, I, I don't think this is too much of an offensive look, but I do think we can amp it up a little bit. So what I have done is taken the essence of this outfit, the colors, and mapped it to something I would actually wear now. So you'll notice I still have a pair of denim shorts. They're just slightly updated. They've got stitching on them. They're very cute, but I mean, frankly, I don't wear them very often because who has time for denim shorts? I mean, I don't know how I wore them my whole life because they're just not comfortable, but these are cute. And for the red and white, I chose sort of a candy striper, crop top to go with it. I've been able to elevate this look. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of it. This is actually something I would normally wear with a red lip actually. So this, 
isn't too far from how I would dress now, to be honest. And I think if grade eight me saw this me walking down the street, she might think she looks pretty cool. I've also added a chunky sandal here because, you know, I don't have clogs, but I can come close. Hi, ah, you thought the grade eight Ottawa graduation trip was over. Well, you're wrong. So this is, I think, maybe one of the most ridiculous pair of sunglasses I've owned in my life. They're very clearly early 2000s, very rectangular. I used to also layer these sort of v-neck shirts with tank tops underneath so that your tank top kind of poked out in like a little triangle. Did anybody else used to do this? I know we all did. Like, please, please tell me in the comments that you have photos of yourself that look vaguely like this because it would make me feel better. I decided to put a blue tank top under this white shirt for, I don't know, variety, I guess. And I have not the denim pair of shorts that you saw earlier, but a longer Bermuda style denim short because was it really the early 2000s? Unless we were all wearing shorts right down to our knees? I don't think so. Okay, so what I have done to glow this up a little bit is again, just show you a version of how I would wear and actually continue to wear this during my daily life now. So this is just a relaxed white t-shirt very plain. I've paired it with a pair of Levi's. Now these are not Bermuda short denim shorts, but I figured they were a good happy medium. And if you saw in that photo, I'm actually wearing a leather belt with those shorts and shirts. Now I didn't need the belt. It was just for decoration. I've added a belt here just for fun. I probably normally wouldn't wear it like this, but it's a glow up, we gotta fix it a little bit. I've also updated those very rectangular <laughs> white plastic glasses for some sort of retro, almost cat eye style sunglasses. And I think this is just a much easier way <laughs> to update this look. I was thinking as I was making it, could I still walk up Capitol Hill in this outfit as I did in the ye old past? Yes, I think I could. Okay, moving on to high school, I had not seen this picture in maybe at least 10 years. This. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I remember this skirt. I think it was maybe from Old Navy or something. And I remember... <laughs> oh, the, just the proportions of this are so wacky. So I have a patterned coral skirt with a purple tank top layered over a white tank top. And layered over that, I have a white cardigan, probably because I did not want my tank toppy shoulders out at school, which is hilarious because <laughs> who cares? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I would have gotten in trouble. I went to Catholic school, so we had uniforms, and this was probably one of our like dress down days or civvies days. So I probably actually planned this outfit more than a week in advance. And this is what I came up with. I also paired this with a pair of strappy sandals, which until very recently, maybe six months ago, I still had, but unfortunately they have uh, gone to live at the farm. You know what I mean? I also paired that with a white headband, which I used to wear a lot because I didn't know what to do with my hair. It was just very long, but I didn't like the way it looked in ponytails. So I would just put a very thin headband on and just hope for the best. And I guess this was one of those situations. I tried to match it with my cardigan because matchy matchy, you know, even though purple matches nothing in that skirt. I also think I, what I'm seeing here is a tensor bandage on my ankle. I think this is when I <laughs> ripped tendons in my ankle after walking off a curb at Tim Hortons. It was a traumatic moment. My donut went flying, but I kept my hot chocolate up, so. This glow up is going to be a little bit different because I 
don't have these similar colors. But what I have done is think about what I was trying to do with this outfit and then modeling that with what I have now. So I've taken this more midi length skirt. It's still, it's not a floral pattern, but it's got a multicolored pattern to it. And I've taken uh, close to a color out of the skirt and matched it with this tank top. I have left the cardigan off because let's face it, we're not in high school anymore. You're allowed to see my shoulders if you want to and if I want to show you. So I'm an adult. I've also paired this with a pair of flat sandals just to mimic the look of the original, but I also have a pair of more strappy heels that I think is also quite nice that I could wear with this outfit. And I think this just brings the outfit up and elevates it a little bit. I think we've successfully made this more of an adult look. Pretty happy with it. Next is this grade 10 stunner. Oof. I think all of these items were in style when I wore them. I'll just say that. This is uh, a black and white look. I wanted to add a pop of color with the red and white polka dot ballet flats. This was on, by the way, our grade eight, no, not grade eight, grade 10 trip to Montreal. Okay, so it looks like I'm just, go all I did in high school was go on trips, but that's, if you remember the time in which smart, sort of before smartphones were a thing, we had to carry cameras everywhere, which meant the only time you really had those was on school trips. So a lot of these photos, sorry, are just school trips because that's when we were taking pictures of each other. I have some, I, I can't even call them oversized white jeans because they were just straight up ill-fitting white jeans. I don't know what was going on there. I think they were probably, again, an old navy pair, which as we all know, used to start as your size and then slowly bag out to two, three, sometimes even four sizes bigger than you actually were by the end of the day. So that was that. I've paired it with uh, a black ruffle tank top and underneath you can see poking through a little white tank top underneath. Layering tank tops apparently was my signature back in the day. And I have over top of that, a black athletic sweater. You know, the kind you would wear to go on a jog? That kind of sweater, athletic wear. I was, I was doing athleisure. You know what I just realized? I was doing athleisure before it was cool just out of basic necessity. Did I found athleisure? All right, let's glow this up a little bit. So I don't have white jeans. I've just, as an adult, have not embraced white jeans. I don't know why. I think I just never have found a pair that really work for me, but I do have a pair of white Levi shorts. So I've basically taken this look and just turned it into a bit more of a summer look. And I have, in a nod to my athleisure days, decided to pair this look with a bomber style sweater jacket. And I think I've done an okay job at bringing this into the future a little bit. I have still my red shoes. They're a little bit more muted, <laughs> a lot less round of toe. I left the headband off because again, I know what to do with my hair now, so, well, I'm not really, kind of. Context for this next one. In grade 12, my school had an option to go to Italy for a grade 12 graduation trip. So I went to Italy and they told us, now kids, you want to make sure that you wear something comfortable on the plane because it'll be a very long plane ride and you want to ensure you're not fidgeting the whole time and you just want to feel very comfortable and hopefully be able to sleep on the way there. And I thought, yeah, I can do that. Here's the problem with that though. We got to Italy, Rome, Italy. We got off the plane, we took a bus and we had an additional four hours to walk around the city of Rome without changing. We didn't have time to change. So this is what I wore around one of the most beautiful cities in the world. All right, let me break this look down for you. Not only do I have one of the most stylish pairs of knockoff Uggs you've ever seen, but I've also, into those, have tucked 
my pair of oversized black high school sweatpants. I've also paired that with the biggest Danier leather purse I think anyone's ever seen, and my Canada Olympic zip up with, again, a very rectangular pair of sunglasses. I don't know what says tourist more, having the name of your country on your sweater or just generally looking like this. I was so mad <laughs> and also very hot. It's hot in Italy around March, who knew? So this look, I was very, very excited about glowing up a little bit because oh my goodness, was it terrible. And this is something that I wanted to take from airport dumpster fire to airport slightly more chic. Now, um, I would ne I, I am never the first person to describe leggings as chic, but um, this is a glow up. So we're just gonna try to mimic the original. So I've paired this pair of sustainable girlfriend leggings with a plain black cropped shirt. I have my very, very comfy Adidas and a <laughs> black leather backpack instead of that just terrible over the shoulder Danier version. And I also have a pair of black sunglasses. I really kept this palette way more neutral than it was before. But as a very kind throwback to my former self, I still have this Canada Olympic sweater and I decided to just mix it in a little differently. And paired with a ponytail, I think this is a slightly elevated take on this truly disastrous Rome fashion. Look, even that horse is judging me. Ugh. <laughs> I'm still embarrassed by this. I am a bit of a sentimental person and I just assume that my children in the future will want my old formal wear. Don't know why, but maybe they will. So I have kept every dress I wore to every dance in high school ever. So not only do I have my grade eight graduation dress, I have all of my semi-formal dresses, I have my prom dress, I have my grade 12 dinner dance dress. I'm going to give you a bit of a highlight reel and a side-by-side -side of that now, because I think it's just fun. So this is my grade eight, grade eight um, caramel dreams dress. I have cut out my grade eight boyfriend from this picture because I don't think he would want to be in the photo, but I, I have fond memories of, of that dance. So anyway, here's the, the side of his shoulder. Here is my prom dress. Unfortunately, I no longer have the shoes, but I think it was just really fun. I like the one shoulder style and I mean, basically that's all I could find at the time, but I think it still rocks. And last but not least, the at dinner dance dress that made me look extremely pale. I'm talking like maybe a ghost pale, but I still like it, what can I say? I hope you enjoyed this journey back through my most signature looks through the years. I, I enjoyed it. I think it's kind of fun seeing where your style has evolved over time. We did this with my mom in her reviewing her looks through the ages videos. So going back in time and being able to see what I prioritized and how I tried to style things was actually really fun. If you want me to do something like this again, just let me know in the comments below or on Instagram and I will see what I can do. I'm always trying to dig up old photos of myself to just have a bit of a laugh. So let me know what you think and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you do actually really like these videos, you might consider subscribing and clicking the little bell notification so you know when my videos go live if you wanna see more of them. If you don't wanna see more of them, you can still subscribe anyway and then just like, you know, ignore the notifications when they come in. I don't know, I guess it's up to you, but you could watch them. So what I mean by <laughs> Can you not interrupt right now, please?
Are you hungry? Dinner time?